Hello, beloved brethren. How's everybody doing? So, in the scriptures, you see God saying, when he's talking to the lady at the well, he said, there comes a time when you won't have to go to the temple where you can worship God anywhere. You won't have to go to the temple. Hello? You won't have to go to the temple to worship God. You can worship him anywhere. And when he says, go up to Jerusalem, Jerusalem above is mother of us all. That is a heavenly Jerusalem, brothers and sisters. The second temple was made um, to show the heavenly Jerusalem, what it, what it looks like. Um, but it's an eternal, it's, it's eternal. And the Father and the Son are its light. You don't need the sun or the moon to lighten it by day and night because there is no night there. There's no death, there's no dying. The scriptures reveal this fact. And New Jerusalem, oh my dog wants to go over here. New Jerusalem mother is also can be a mother if they have the spirit of truth. You know, I think that they are all the ones with the spirit of truth. They are a mother um, to those who are obeying the Father to each other. Like we were talking in the last one, like the angel said, corrected John, brother, our brother John said, Oh, worship God, not me. Um, so we correct each other. It's we, we, we show each other what God has shown us. We say, hey, Jesus showed me this. And that's what um, I have been doing in these videos is showing you what the Lord has shown me. Similar to Peter. The Lord showed Peter things. And then the Lord said to, to Peter, he said, uh, if you love me, ask him, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Kept asking him, do you love me? And he said, yes, I do. Um, yes, I do. And he said, if you love me, feed my sheep. So, you know, as brothers and sisters, we feed each other uh, the word and how the spirit is guiding us through the word of God. Praise his holy name for he is good. And one of the things that, you know, the enemy has come in and tried to convince us of is, is a very tricky little game with our mind. Although there are nations and there are, there's always been like kings of the earth and um, but this is there's a division between the earthly kingdom and the heavenly kingdom, the new heaven and the new earth, um, and the old heaven and the old earth. The old earth is passing away, and heaven is being shaken by a mighty wind. And um, the unrighteousness that is exalted and elevated and gone up above all that is worshipped and that is called God trying to put themselves above the word of God so that the word of God is put down. And what do I mean by this? Well, we've talked about the republic versus the democracy and this game that they played. If you look at the history and you know the history, I have political science background, international law background, um, and then also a lot of science and math, and I understand things, and also architecture and design and when you start seeing all the buildings and you start understanding the God of fortresses here in, in earth, it really all goes together and it just forms this picture of these two divided worlds. Um, one of the God of forces and fortresses that makes traffic and shipments of merchandise and goes and finds the silver and the gold in the ground and digs it up and builds their kingdom that's a temporal kingdom. And they keep building and tearing down, building and tearing down. But God will tear down too. Um, he showed me that in the, in the new world called the Americas, this happened over all seven continents. At one time, a people came in. They did bring the Bible. But remember, the Bible was taken over. The church was taken over by grievous wolves. The apostles said that they would take it over. They knew, God knew, so he planned his little plan, his big plan actually, his great work, his strange work, um, and they tried to emulate that or copycat it. They call themselves their work, strange work, and they call themselves peculiar people, just like God calls his people peculiar people. But you could see the difference between the two when you look at the word of God and you see um, them building their treasures on earth and us building our treasures in the kingdom. So you could see who is a wolf in sheep's clothing making merchandise out of all of God's people and a true born again saint of God who is beloved of our father. And 
the bridegroom is coming for her. Um, and you see this new world order coming in in the new world. And they put up Statue of Liberty. And in the scriptures it says that they tie um, uh, kerchiefs on pillows and stuff like that. And you see these great men, these men of renown that, that they elevate in history um, doing this particular thing, which is what God calls Satan doing that and his army. So they have elevated these people after they came in, killed the native Indians, took the land over. The new world, think of that idea of new world order. So they get chaos, order out of chaos. So they come in and they kill, steal, and destroy. And they put you in city-states, which is Rome and Greece. City-states is political for Rome and Greece. And um, they build their architecture, their, their buildings, which is all you know modeled after Rome and Greece. And you can see it in the capital cities and the White House. So you see the white horse, <laughs> brothers and sisters. And it looked good because they came with what they called liberty. The Statue of Liberty is a, they call it the, the, the um, enlightenment of the world or something like that, Columbus. But that Statue of Liberty is a Greek man dressed as a woman, transgender, holding up a lamp. Now the lamp is not in them. This is another light. This is a light that leads to darkness. And under her is a star. And that star is enlightening the world, yes, but not in a good way. It's the light that leads to darkness. And so um, they, they did the New World Order. It, it was here and it was all over all four corners of the earth. And you see it because you see that every nation, tribe, and tongue had this pandemic brought in every country. And I've watched videos of different countries and how they... Um, came in and the people of that land talk about their history. It's exactly like ours They were invaded by this people calling themselves Christian But everything that they did was totally opposite of Christian life It they they looked like it, but they spoke like a dragon um, They looked Christian not all of them some of them were true born-again believers but the ones that we see that loved money and power and fame and were doing something secretly as God says they do it in secret they have a lamp that they get lit in secret and this is not the true born again Christians this is not the saints and they're after something they're after our children they're after our life they're after blood <laughs> um, and um, we see them now and the Lord has opened our eyes to this new world order. The Lions Club, when I was looking at the um, South American video of the mining there, and these young boys going in the mines for hours and hours, getting diamonds out for these men who came in and took over. Um, and these people get cancer of the lungs and sorts of all sorts of problems with debt, and they only get paid like pennies on the hour or something like that it's just really really bad and they do it sometimes they'll be in there for 24 hours looking digging for gold and there's cave-ins and they die even to this day they're doing that and um so and and they have in different countries all over the world they have lions clubs this is the lion's den that like joseph i think was in you know you've got a lot of these wicked ones spread over all four corners of the earth and they created a new world order and they play a game of good and evil which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil um, god is exposing it all now in this end time because he said that the wheat and the tares would grow up together but then at the end he would cut down the tares and cast them in the fire so you see the tares in the land you know trump claims to be christian but he's full of enterprise, money, love of money. He's got towers like the Tower of Babel. He's pushing enterprise. And then you see Biden who's pushing this, this other agenda of the United Nations. And he's pushing capital, you know, capital building, capital marketing. Um, they're both in the same bed together. Um, and you see their 
the the new age of enlightenment it's like the lady liberty it's the new age of enlightenment it's the same thing over and over again the age of aquarius the age of light lightening the world light, lighting the world with their ways which the the real true liberty is those who have the holy spirit you know where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty it doesn't say where the spirit of statue of liberty is there is liberty no we see that statue is is a fake is a counterfeit and it's getting cut down now because god's showing that's not holy and that's why we see all the destruction in the cities they have tricked everyone thinking that there's this overpopulation problem when in fact what they did was really 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 a smart little game of theirs it's to put everyone in cities and then make it look then pollute the people and pollute the ground where the cities are and then say oh there's overpopulation there's not enough resources and this and that well yeah because they took all the resources and they built all this stuff for one thing but there's still land out there all over tons of land so what they're doing now is they're doing the whole environmental idea their new world order <laughs> the new world was their new world order the new age of enlightenment and they said that and if you look at columbus and you look at the description of that was to enlighten the world so that was a new world order also so then you look at this new age of enlightenment this new age of aquarius this ascension type thing they're talking about this um, falcon rising from the dust you know them destroying and then built, rebuilding so they send all their children out into tiny homes out in the wilderness because they know there's lots of land out there and then they destroy the cities you know they got dams set up just in the perfect spot to release it and let all the cities drown and be destroyed they have just the right amount of people ready to bomb and, and whatnot and you're not supposed to f be afraid of these things but i'm just saying this is how they do it the whole war thing that they showed the brits and the americans that was all a game too to make you think that there was a division between the two now there were people in each side who were born again christians but they were deceived by the devil and thought this was righteous it was doing god's work and in a way the sovereignty of god was that he came in and brought the word of god into uh, the united states but those who were using the word of god were using it and um, to make to because they were they were satanists luciferians light bearer people that's why they have the statue of liberty as a uh, enlightening the eyes of the world or in, enlighten i can't remember look, look up columbus and you'll see it's a goddess it's not our god that we find in the scriptures but because they had a dead letter, they didn't, they did and they didn't understand the word of God the spirit, by the spirit of truth because they didn't have the spirit of truth with them. And so you see there was maybe a few here and there that may have been enlightened by the spirit of truth. But you see majority of them, their hearts were wicked and they were only for gain. And that's why God is cutting those tares and those wolves in sheep's clothing you know, because the, remember the apostles said grievous wolves would come in, and they certainly did. But in that wickedness, God brought the word to the natives of the lands of every continent. And now they have the word in them. And God is showing them this is a, a worldly thing. All the nations that, that are wicked that are not saved because there's nations that are saved and then there's nations that are not saved earth dwellers versus um, new jerusalem dwellers which are uh, reconciled through the resurrection of christ because that is a reconciliation meaning they were already part of something and they needed a savior if you understand that it's it's a little deep for some people to understand the translation into the kingdom um, and how our temples were broken down prior to, to us believing and that's something for a lot of people hard to, to understand but there's an adam and eve there's a serpent in the garden and we're going to show you that really many of these wicked ones are really serpents in the field. They're not from the tree of mankind.
they're from a um, a seed of the serpent. Now it doesn't mean that they're they're born a serpent. No, um, the eggs which are hatched in their minds are hatched because a serpent spoke to them uh, from hell. The the words were like eggs. The words hatched and then they become like that serpent and then they become a serpent themselves. And once they hat, once once the visitation of the Lord comes their works that they seeded in that person hatch into something so the you see the work of the devil's words and you see the work of the word of god that's why you see the nasa serpent tongue it's the tongue that they teach their tongue to lie they teach their tongue to run and do evil they teach their their self to do to do sorcery oh my gosh my dog is gonna kitty kitty kitty, kitty. watch out no shiva no 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 Oh my goodness, my dog just chased a cat up the tree. Come here, Shiva. Come here. I gotta put her on the leash. Anyways, we're gonna finish this. I gotta go deal with a dog and a cat. Cat in the tree and a dog chasing the cat. Praise the Lord. All right, God be love to you guys.